As a truth seeker, I've consumed copious amounts of quote unquote truther content, um, particularly on YouTube as well as BitChute and Odyssey also, which I always forget to check these days. But one thing that I've seen or, or heard come up time and time again is a truther content creator will be sharing their personal background and they'll talk about how they'll basically claim that they never fell for anything. They'll say that, you know, I I used to see it a lot in the atheist skeptic crowd in the 2010s, which on YouTube, there was a huge wave of atheist skeptics for more, more underground YouTube, obviously not like major mainstream YouTube. Um, but a lot of them would claim like they never fell for church or they stopped believing in God when they were six years old, or they've, you know, they never believed in Santa Claus cause it was an obvious lie. Even at three years old, they didn't fall for Santa Claus. Um, you know, I, I, I've seen that and um, it's, it's a weird claim. It's, it's a claim that I personally have a difficult time believing, um, knowing, you know, just developmentally where you're at at that age, typically, you know, <laughs> um, even if you're really, really smart. Um, but yeah, it's, 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 it comes off as kind of strange. Um, and, and also, you know, but it's, it's not that. I mean, I, I feel like I'm splitting hairs a little bit here. I mean, I'm not saying that's impossible, you know, um, but it's just something I've, I have a difficult time understanding. And, and obviously, personally, I would not say that about myself. I would say that while I've always been curious and I've always cared about the truth or doing the right thing or some, something like that, honesty, integrity, um, I certainly have conformed. I fell for a lot of traps and a lot of tricks. Um, there were many though that I did avoid. I will say there were many tricks and traps that I avoided that were placed upon my generation of guinea pigs, so to speak. Um, but I, you know, I also fell for some of them cause I was a child, you know, um, or I was naive, um, you know, or yeah. I mean, I, I just, I, it's just, difficult needs difficult for me to understand how you know anyone under the age of i mean 15 you know i just this even the smartest brightest kids i knew you know they didn't they didn't really get that conscientious until they were in their mid teens i would say i i don't remember 8 year olds being like i don't believe in god anymore it's like what happened to that 8 year old right? Like what eight year old stops believing in God, you know, like, and normally the narrative, they don't give some kind of bad experience. I mean, sometimes they'll give a bad experience, I guess, but every now and then they just say, yeah, I just thought about it one day. And I'm like, what at eight years old, that's, if that's true, that's impressive. Um, you know, although I definitely think that, you know, as children, we are smarter than adults far removed give kids credit for, right? Like, I definitely agree with that. It's just, there are limits. Okay. (laughs) Um, so yeah. Um, general limits, you know, obviously there's a lot of unique people out there, um, or unique experiences out there. Um, so, you know, the reason I bring that up is because I pay attention to rhetoric. I have paid attention to rhetoric a lot in the past. And it's, it's one of the first things I ever naturally noticed, um, long before even YouTube was really a thing. Um, and I was still a girl, like I, I would notice that people would kind of regurgitate things or speak in a certain cadence or tone uh, given a particular ideology, right? So like when people talk about their Zodiac sign or when people, or like a preacher, right? The way a preacher speaks, I've met a lot of, uh, Christians who speak that way in everyday life. Like I've met, or I've seen, you know, vloggers, Christian uh, vloggers who 
fall into the cadence and tone of a preacher, right? Like, oh yes, Holy Father, yes, today we are going to pray today. Oh yes, Holy, you know, like it, there's like a chanting and it's, and then there's sort of this inspirational, like, so what does the Lord want us to do when our car breaks down, right? Well, how does the Lord want us to deal with anger, right? Well, the Lord Jesus Christ says, in Isaiah 35, you know, like there's, it's sort of this, it's not only like what they're saying, but it, it's it's the cadence and tone in which they say that. And I've heard other Christians describe this as that's like the Holy Spirit speaking through that person. Personally, as a Christian, I feel the Holy Spirit, but it does not send me into stereotypical preacher rhetoric that anybody could be programmed by simply by listening to a lot of televangelists, right? Like there's an element of that's part of the propaganda that preachers speak, that Christian rhetorical loops, those are all on television. Those are all super popular. And like many a truther, I understand that one of the rules of thumb here is that if it's super popular, if millions, maybe billions of people are into it, it's sus, right? It's suspicious, right? Um, uh, you know, and honestly, most likely not to be trusted, you know, or, or part of the evil, part of the traps, right? And that's certainly something I struggle with in my own faith, um, you know, because I just didn't grow up in a church with Christians who were like the Christians you see on TV or stereotypical Christians who are out and about, you know, sometimes shouting at people, but, you know, handing up. But like, I just didn't grow up in that kind of, well, denomination, right? There's different denominations. So it's it's not really how I look at my own faith and belief in God and what Christ's sacrifice was and what it's about, right? And I do go by the Bible, right? But people interpret the Bible in different ways, and there are contradictions in the Bible. Um, so it's, you know, I'm not going to ignore that as like a truth seeker. And the Bible does say to be a truth seeker in the gospel. So, I mean, I, my hands are tied. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. um, but I'm not going to ignore when, you know, even chill Christian people, especially if they have a, a content, like a channel or videos out there, I'm not going to ignore when they fall into rhetoric and regurgitating platitudes and also speaking vaguely. Right. And so, you know, there's rhetoric for all other, like, Nazis have rhetoric, feminists, there's feminist rhetoric, there's liberal Democrat, conservative Republican rhetoric, there's alt-right rhetoric, there's, um, you know, Manosphere rhetoric, there's Jordan Peterson has his own rhetoric, you know, he's sort of a icon and, you know, he's sort of an ideology in and of himself, right? Um, you know, clean your room, right? So just, you know how it is. Um, Jay Dyer, you know, Jay Dyer and, you know, Hollywood satanic rituals. <laughs> um, I know Jay Dyer didn't like coin the, that kind of rhetoric, but boy, is he good at it. You know, <laughs> boy, does he excel at talking about... He just never lets it go. I honestly, I, I don't know if I've seen someone maintain interest in one topic that intensely for that long. It's kind of impressive, but okay. So yeah, I use rhetoric versus original statements. If I'm, if I'm consuming some kind of content, um, some kind of talking head, some kind of figure on the screen, right. Or voice that I'm listening to. Um, I, you know, use little rules of thumb, little tools, right? If the person's speaking just no original statements, nothing but rhetoric, to me, that's an obvious fake and whatever kind of fake it might be. It could be an agent. It could be a shill, a bot. It could be someone who's just super duper brainwashed and never thinks for themselves, you know, like a NPC, sheeple, normie, whatever you want to call that. Like, you know, someone who just took way too many psych meds and they just kind of say whatever, you know, they heard from their psychiatrist or something. I don't know, man. There's all kinds of people who are just going along to get along, as they say. So, um, yeah, it's it's I'm laughing, but it, it does break my heart to see people like that. So, 
there you go. That was what was on my mind today. I hope you all have a good day, good evening, or a good night. Thanks for listening.